Now we'll do an example. So let's say the TIE fighter is here. We'll call that point P. And we are given the point of the TIE fighter P0 in the zero frame and the angle theta between frames one and zero. We need to find rotation of zero with respect to one, one with respect to zero, and P1. So first thing we're going to find rotation of frame one with respect to frame zero. So to do that, we know R one zero equals cosine theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, cosine theta zero, 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 one. This is our standard formula. So to get from frame zero to frame one. Now let's say we're given that P zero equals one, four, zero. And theta equals 40 degrees. So we plug theta into here, then R10 is going to equal, do cosine, sine, minus sine, cosine, all that of theta, then we get 0 0.94, 0 0.34, negative 0 0.34, 0 0.94, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is R1 with respect to zero. Now, in order to get P1, we remember that P1 equals R01 P0. So first we have to get R01, which is going to be the transpose, R10 transpose, and then we can multiply that by P0. So to do the transpose, we just flip the rows and the columns. So 0 0.94, 0 0.94, 1. Then we flip the top, the bottom, across the diagonal. So what we'll end up with negative 0.34, positive 0.34, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then we can multiply that by P0, which we were given in the problem, 1, 4, 0. So if you recall, we multiply the row by the column, get the first element. Second row times the column gets the second element. Third row times the column gets the third element. So we do that out and we'll have, we're going to multiply this times this plus this times this plus this times this. So then that will be 0.94 plus the 0.34 times 4. And then plus 0 times 0. And then we do the same thing for second element. So negative 0.34 plus 0 0.94 times 4 plus 0. And then finally, 0, 0, 1. This will end up just being 0. 0 times 1 plus 0 times 4 plus 1 times 0. It's all 0. So then if we do those additions, then we end up with 2.31, 3.410 equals P1.